What's going on everyone? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. If you are missing BYU sports, don't worry. Athletics is making us feel like we're there. We're gonna celebrate some BYU athletes, plus Gators, baby's first steps, and at-home workouts. What more could you want? Let's go. We've all been working to stay connected while still social distancing. Luckily, in today's day and age, it's pretty easy. Here around campus, it's been real useful to video call through Zoom. Students are using Zoom as a way of doing online classes. I'm using Zoom for my meetings. BYU Women's Volleyball is using it as their team bonding powwow sesh. Everyone's Zooming these days. And it's pretty cool because you can change your virtual background to make it look like you're in some sweet places. But what makes it even cooler is the backgrounds BYU Athletics put out via social media, making it real easy to rep the Cougs from home. Or sometimes in my case, from Studio B. See, I'm in the Marriott Center, which brings me to men's basketball. Yoli Childs ranks 41st out of 50 in SB Nation's ranking of the best men's college basketball players for the 2019-2020 season. This doesn't surprise me. This season, Yoli led the team with 17 blocks and 171 rebounds, making him BYU's all-time rebounder. It's been great to follow his career here at BYU, and we will continue to follow his career as he works to go pro. In fact, Yoli just hired an agent, so good luck to him as he prepares for the NBA draft. Yoli isn't the only athlete being celebrated after a great season. Sadie Miner of BYU Gymnastics was crowned MRGC's Co-Vault Specialist of the Year, this after averaging a 9.85 on the event. This also earned Sadie a spot on the all MRGC Vault first team with Abby Miner and Avery Bennett on the all MRGC Vault second team. But we're not done yet. Haley P2 was named to the all MRGC Bars second team. It's hard to believe the season's over. Let's look back and remember some of the great moments from BYU Gymnastics this year. The girls finished ranked number 19 in the nation. So it's safe to say it was a great season, even if it was cut short. BYU Football Pro Day also got cut, but that didn't stop wide receiver Micah Simon from competing in the filmed Pro Day put on by Atlet Sports, where he put up these numbers. Look at some of those times. Micah ran a 4.35 in the 40. He also had a 3.99 shuttle drill and a 6.6 second three cone drill. We've got some other Cougs keeping busy in quarantine too. But you know what? Let's lose the backdrop for this. And we're back. Shout out to BYU football recruiting, BYU women's soccer, and all other accounts keeping us updated on our Cougs as the pandemic continues. Here are some of my recent favorites. I'm getting real good at this challenge. That looks so real. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Stay healthy. I keep telling you to stay healthy. Maybe we should have someone else say it. What's happening to y'all? This is Jamal. Just want to say stay calm, cool, and collected. Stay with your family members and just be smart out there. Go Cougs. Go Pack. <laughs>